Welcome to another In the Mood to Scrap video presented by Two Peas in a Bucket. My name is Jana Werner and today we are going to transfer art onto a scrapbooking page. As usual, the scrapbooking page that I'm going to show you is based on a mood board and this is the one that I created for today's video. I have a Pinterest board called Art and Art Journals and this is where I collect all art pieces or art journals that are really inspiring to me. I went to my Pinterest board and had a look which pictures I would like to use for this layout and I came up with this collection. I also created a color scheme which you find on the left and from the right side from those pictures I am going to take single elements. I want to incorporate the watercolors from the bottom left photo. I really like this a lot and I want to transfer it nearly as, it, as you can see it here. I also want to add the twine as you can see on the top right uh, photo because I really like that the artist uh, sewed on both of them and did not cut the thread but just kept on sewing. From the photo on the top left I would like to incorporate the way the elements are placed with the tag on top and then um, slightly moving to the left with the elements and I would also like to include the, the flowers, the paper flowers on that photo and from the photo next to that one I'd like to use the washi tape. So let's have a look at the scrapbooking page that I created and which is based on the mood board that you just saw. As on the mood board I added a tag and adhered it on top of the scrapbooking page and I moved the other elements to the left so I have a big white space on the bottom right and I'm emphasizing the middle part and the left side of the page. I also added a watercolor background. I used gelatos and this is very easy. I'm going to show you how to do that. You could also use sprays or any other watercolor. You do not need gelatos for that but they are really nice to work with. Maybe you know that I really like to add splatters onto my scrapbooking pages. Instead of using spray or acrylic paint I'm going to show you a technique with glitter and glue. This is not my invention. I saw that at someone else's YouTube channel and I really 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 like this technique a lot. If you do not like splatters, that's totally fine, then just don't add them. The page will look colorful either way, whether you add splatters or not. And now let's get started. Here are the supplies that I'm using. I have some clips from Create Paper as well as a 6x6 paper pad from Do It Yourself Shop, a piece of vellum, this is a smash grab bag, cardstock, Else Studio Tags and Stamps, I Love You More journaling cards from Pebbles, Scissor, Glue, then I have um, a glass of water, brushes and a piece where I can mix paint and glue and stuff like that. Then we had Gelatos, Pencil, Liquid Pearls and Masking Tape, Twine. These are cutouts from a Sizzix die. I am not going to use them in the end, but that was the original idea. And I have ink, heat tool, glitter, a piece of paper and a page from a book. Uh, I have two photos and stickers and papers. And actually I wanted to use two photos on this layout, but you would see that um, it did not look that good. So. This is how I create the glue liquid for the splatters. It's just mixing water with glue. I forgot that I wanted to add the watercolor background, so I put this mixture aside and start with the background instead. I put a bit of the gelato on a piece of foil and add water. And I'm mixing it until I have a nice texture of the um, liquid. Then I put the foil on top of the white cardstock and let it dry. In the next step I am taking the yellow gelato and repeat the procedure. 
I still have the watercolor background in mind that is on the mood board. So I'm adding a circle. You can see it here, the photo on the bottom left. And after that dried, I'm adding the pencil lines as they were on the photo as well. I'm just doing this uh, into any direction and I do not have really a big plan how to do it. And now I'm adding the glue water mixture. You just drop it on top of the page and then you add glitter on top. Make sure to cover each of the glue spots. And you can put the excess on another piece of paper. And then you either let it dry or you use your heat gun to, to dry the glue splatters. In the next step I am cutting papers and vellum and try to find out in which way I want to adhere them on the page. I'm not gluing anything down yet, you know this is in most cases the last step for me. I rather collect things and try different ways of placing the elements. I have this journaling card and you might be surprised when I'm not using the actual journaling card but uh, the left part of it because I want this uh, piece of paper with a hole in it and then I'm adding a bit of twine and I'm not really that kind of person who likes to make a knot into the twine but I rather do it as you can see here I don't know how to explain that in English but you can see it very well and then I keep on putting things on top of each other. And I had the idea to stamp onto that clip and I'm using an ELSE Studio stamp for that which says documented and the clip is a bit, uh, well it's kind of tiny and my fingers are kind of big so this was a bit challenging. Um, before I start stamping on the clip I'm testing the stamp on a piece of cardstock just to make sure I have it in the right direction and um, I get it stamped, I get the image stamped fully onto the clip and it worked perfectly. Before I start stitching on the background I'm adhering the white cardstock on a piece of pattern paper and I'm doing that because otherwise the scrapbooking page would be a bit pale. It looks better to have something colorful in the background. Then I'm stitching on all sides and leave the thread like that. I'm bending the edges a bit to give more dimension and then I start placing the elements again. And I'm still having two photos but you can see that it looks very heavy with two photos. These are photos from our trip to Denmark last year and um, this is Copenhagen, one of my favorite cities and I really wanted to have both of the photos but it just did not look right. And the same with the 12. It's way too dark. So I'm still trying out a different ways of arranging everything or adding a few more tags or embellishments and this is I think this takes the longest time for me while creating a scrapbooking page moving things around until I'm satisfied or happy with the way the page looks so uh, this is just my tip don't glue the things down right away but keep on trying and take your time because otherwise if you are unhappy in the end then you have to rip everything off and then the paper is destroyed maybe or the photo and that's not worth it. Okay so now I talked that so much and okay let's get back to the page. As you can see I created a tag. I did this myself just with a scissor and then I punched a hole in the middle 
And if you remember the mood board, here you can see on the top right the two pieces of paper that are com um, that are combined. They have this stitching. And I did exactly the same. I stitched on one cluster and did not cut the thread but kept on sewing on the second cluster. And then I started gluing the papers down as you can see in, on the background and I started punching flowers and as they were quite massive I punched holes in the middle and crumbled them because they looked so clean and straight and I didn't like that, it didn't fit the, the look and to give them a bit more uh, or to let them come to life, those flowers, I added a bit of gelato color on all three of them. And you can add a first layer and then let it dry and then add a second layer and this will create a watercolor look. And you can just uh, use your heat gun because they are crumbled and uh, they have wrinkles. So it doesn't matter if the paper bends now. I'm also adding a few more pencil lines just to go with the background. And it looks a bit more artistic <laughs> in some kind of way. I just like it. Oh, I see now I, I lied. I did not glue things down. <laughs> okay, so now start gluing things down and place them in the middle and on the left side of the scrapbooking page, at least if you want to create a similar page. And the thread um, is very long, so I'm putting it beneath the papers. Then I'm gluing the papers down. You just need a tiny bit of glue. And I have uh, the liquid glue that I'm using is very strong and you don't need a lot of that. That's the same with the Tombow that I'm adding to the supply list right beneath the project. And you can see that there are a lot of layers. And just to make sure that the photo is popping out of the page, I'm using dimensionals. And I decided to take not the highest one that I have because that might look a bit strange if the photo was too high, too much popping out of the page. So I chose thinner ones. And I'm adding more embellishments. This is a sticker from Alison Craft for Webs' pages. And I put it on a piece of cardstock. And I'm gluing it down now because like this I can bend the edges and it's not flat on the page. You see I'm bending the edges and you have automatically more dimension on your page. I'm also adding glue on the back of the clip like this it will not get lost if you carry the scrapbooking page around for example. And then just a few more stickers or any other embellishments that you would like to incorporate. As you can see, I added a bit of washi on top of the, of the tag just to let it pop out a bit more. And you see the 12 just doesn't fit to the page at all. And this is the finished page. I added a bit of handwritten journaling as well. And you see there are lots of layers. So if you have a look at the mood board one more time, you see that I use the color scheme, which is on the left side, and also some of the elements, uh, which you can see on the photos of my mood board. I'm really happy with how the layout turned out, and it has been so much fun using a piece of art or um, a project by an artist that I really admire as my inspiration for a scrapbooking page. So my challenge this week is get inspired by a piece of art and transfer it or single elements onto a scrapbooking page or any other paper crafting project you like. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I see you soon. Bye bye.